guys, it's Lego Matic 9 and today I'm coming at you with another Lego Star Wars custom minifigure showcase video. And today I have one that I've done in the past, but this one is a brand new pre Vizsla. Now I believe that my uh, <coughs> my show initial showcase for this figure came out I believe in like July or June or something like that. I think it was uh, July. With, uh, with I had like a whole bunch of other Mandalorians with it, but this one is brand new. I completely, and I mean completely, redid this figure, and I think he just turned out fantastic. So uh, behind him, I have four Death Watch soldiers that I'm actually going to be updating next because I found four more reference pictures for different, uh, d different Death Watch warriors. So I'm going to be making those, and those guys will come out with. Uh, come out in another showcase video as well as a Bo-Katan which I'm going to be starting on soon I just have to get the parts for her first because uh, I don't really want to tear apart one of the Mandalorians I have now because I'm kind of working on something with them so without further ado let's jump into the uh, jump into the close-up of this figure so if you guys did not know pre Vizsla is the leader of the Death Watch which is a group of Mandalorian warriors wishing to overthrow Duchess Satine on Mandalore and get rid of her pacifist ways and return Mandalore to its warrior past which I think is pretty cool because Mandalorians are really cool uh, with all their armor and just all their gadgets that like their armor has is just awesome so um, yeah he's got his dark saber or lightsaber I'm not really sure what it is the only info I know about is that it was stolen from the Jedi temples during the old Republic by his ancestors and then it was passed down throughout his throughout the Vizsla generations and eventually got to him. So I think that's pretty cool. So we'll just take that out of his hand for now. Hold, well not his hand off. So we'll just put that back on. <clears throat> okay. So now on to the figure. So starting with the legs, you got the light gray boots, light gray, uh, light gray shin guards, I guess, uh, the light gray knee pads, and then the dark gray groin protector, dark gray uh, holsters, and uh, I guess calf armor, or lay, I don't know what to call it, thigh armor that goes around, all the way around, like that. So that's pretty cool. He's got the dark gray belt going on there. Then he has some dark gray details on his actual belt that's printed on to the torso. And then he's just got two pouches painted on there. Then on his actual chest armor, he has some blue designs on there. I'm not really sure what they signify, but I think that they look pretty cool. Then on his arms, you got the dark gray shoulder pads. And then you got the dark gray van braces, which have some red, yellow, and dark oh, light gray details on those, which I think looks pretty sweet. Uh, so now, uh, jetpack. This thing took a long time to make. I know that the rocket's kind of tilted. I can't really do anything about that right now, but I, I might update it in the future. But the jetpack is fully made by me. Like, there's no, like, basically, I couldn't, I didn't buy this jetpack. I had to make that myself. Like, here's a comparison between this and uh, the Lego jetpack that we get. So as you can see, that one I had to make all from scratch. Now, uh, the rocket is a Brick Arms RPG rocket, which looks all right on it. I, I would have preferred to have like an area light rocket, but I don't have any of those. So I just went ahead and just put that on there, and it looks fine. And then you got the uh, the black, I guess, exhaust ports, and then uh, you got the black de de details and control pads and stuff on there. And the jetpack is removable, which I'll get to later. So moving on to the helmet. Now, the helmet was the hardest part in this entire figure. And it is probably the most unique figure I have ever made. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, he's got the dark gray details on there, as well as kind of like the lighter gray on there as well. You got some details there and there. You've got some, uh, just the details right there. Um, and then you got the dark gray throughout the entire helmet. Now his, uh, now his eared things, or the, like the guns on the side of his helmets, they are from the jousting sticks, which I haven't really seen done before. Uh, so I just went ahead and did those and shaded, oh, uh, sanded them down just to give them more of a like flatter but still round look. He's got some just brick arms, barrels, and stuff that were cut up and sanded down and glued onto the uh, on to the top of these things. Now, sadly, they cannot rotate, which I believe that they can do in the Clone Wars. But you know, whatever, it still is pretty cool. Then you have the Clan Vizsla symbol painted on there in more of like a cream color rather than a really bright yellow like my older version was. So I believe this version looks a lot better. Um, and then moving on the back, you just have some more uh, lighter gray details. And then right there, you can see it like right above the uh, right above the guns and stuff. There's some uh, there's some light gray up there as well. 
Now the helmet is removable, as you can tell. Then he's got the pre Vizsla face that we got with several Mandalorian figures, and then you have the uh, like the uh, black uh, detail on there as well, like his little neck guard. So as you can see, there is barely any clearance room right there at all. So those two just fit on there just barely. So I'm actually going to take that back off real quick. I'm going to show you guys the, uh, the jetpack just real quick. All right, there we go. So put his body back on there. Move that off to the side. So here is the jetpack. As you can see, it is made out of several different pieces. Um, yeah, so this thing took a while to make, and uh, definitely very, uh, I don't know what I was going to say there, but yeah, it definitely turned out very cool. I um, I think I'm the first one to make this too, as well. I haven't really seen anybody try to make this version of the jetpacks, which we see on uh, quite a few Mandalorians in the, uh, in the Clone Wars. Now, where did his head go? I have no idea where his head went. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, I'm just going to put that back on there. <laughs> Um, well, yeah, I guess it kind of fits with it. I can't find his head because it got chopped off by Darth Maul in the Clone Wars, so that might be why. Uh, so, yeah, that, I, I don't know where it went. Um, oh, well, I'll find that. So, now, uh, that's pretty much it for the close-up this close up of this figure so let's move on to the conclusion. Alright guys so that sums it up for this video. I had a lot of fun making this figure and I cannot wait to show you guys what these four guys in the back will look like uh, once I finish them up because they are going to look outstanding. I already know it and it, I just am super excited to make those figures as well as the Bo-Katan figure which I'm just going to probably order parts for soon. And uh, also, I will have more Walking Dead videos out as well, just to let you guys know. Like, here's a quick little preview of a figure. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Pre Vizsla, there he is. He was an amazing character, and sadly, uh, which you guys didn't find out, if you guys haven't found out already, he did, he did die in Season 5 of The Clone Wars, which was sad. And I am just generally mad about that because I think he was a great character. But he did go out like a true Mandalorian with honor and he accepted his fate, um, which is what a true Mandalorian would do. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it if you guys would leave a comment and a like. And also subscribe if you want to see uh, more content from me. I'm going to have a lot more of, of these uh, Mandalorian figures out too. I'm going to be getting some more in the mail here soon from a trade if that works out. And then uh, I have a few more clones that will be coming out soon. Um, so stay tuned. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. <laughs>